This is the uh, Clevertronics high power off-road LED light bar controller. This is basically a dimmer and a strobe. So you can add the uh, dimmer and strobe features to your standard LED light bar. Uh, uses a automotive grade 8-bit microcontroller. It has a uh, uh, 50 amp high power transistor for the control. Although I'm rating this at 25 amp output just for safety margin. Uh, this will drive up to a 350 watt light bar, LED light bar on your vehicle. Uh, really works well. It's, uh, I designed everything, wrote the code. Uh, it's assembled here in the United States. So uh, it's a very nice product. Uh, basically how this thing works is it uh, controls your light bar through the negative side of the uh, light bar. So basically how you hook it up, I'm going to just tape this down to make it easier. And basically there's three wires. Uh, there's a ground output wire and uh, a red power wire that powers the circuit. It does come with uh, you know, an instruction manual, hookup guide, shows you how to hook everything up. Basically, what you do is you take the uh, the light bar. This LED here is going to simulate our light bar. You hook your light bar positively right to your battery. Now this should be fused, and you should use the uh, wire gauge size that's recommended by the light bar manufacturer. Uh, you know, like a 20 amp light bar, you use 12 gauge or 10 gauge for a 25 amp, 25 30 amp. Uh, so we hook the light bar right to the battery. We then hook the black lead from the controller right to the negative side of the battery. This wire should also be the same gauge as your your uh, uh, your positive lead. You know, all these these wires here all need to be the heavy. These all take the current. All right. So then take the uh, green lead from the controller and connect that to the negative side of the light bar and then the light bar has a power requirement this is what powers the circuit uh, this needs to go through a toggle switch that's tied to either your uh, plus 12 ignition on or it can go right to the battery just depends on how you want to hook it up. This uh, toggle switch needs to be supplied by the user. It does not come with it. But basically, when you tie this to plus, it's going to turn on the controller. And uh, it powers up in the dimmer mode. So as you turn this control pot, fully counterclockwise is zero. Slowly turn it to the right. Counterclockwise will go from zero to 100% power to the LED bar. And back down. And uh, for the strobe mode, uh, you push in on this switch that's built into the pot. And basically, fully counterclockwise, the strobe is at 2 flashes a second. It will increase as you turn clockwise to 20 flashes a second. This won't look right on the video camera because of the uh, it'll mess up with the, messes with the frame rate of the camera. But basically, you get the idea. And you turn it back the other way counterclockwise, she slows down. And just push it again, it goes right in dim mode. Strobe, dim. The strobe uh, feature is really intense. It's, uh, it can be very dissonant orientating, so obviously you never want to use that while you're driving. But it's a really nice feature, it really gets attention. It uh, works really well. That's basically about it. This thing uh, does work very nice. It's a very nice feature to have. Be able to take control of your light bar. And uh, up to 350 watts output at 12 volts. So it's, uh, it's 
basically it. Oh, also there is a, uh, I'm going to turn off the light here. There's an onboard LED indicator here that just shows that, yeah, the, uh, the board's working. It's tied right to the output, so you'll see the strobe and the dimmer right there on that LED. That just lets you know the board's working properly. Also, it's recommended to hook everything up first. Make sure everything's working before you start drilling holes, like to mount your uh, pot here. Requires a 3-8 hole. This can be mounted in the dash, or you can make a bracket tied to the dash and mount it through that. But, uh, that's basically it. Works real nice.